Hey everyone, this is Nate Stroud again at the University of Redlands, and today we're going to be looking at OpenStreetMap and how to edit data in OpenStreetMap. Um, so if you haven't used it before, OpenStreetMap is an incredible resource. Um, it's a, a completely free and open source mapping project um, maintained by contributors around the world. Um, it's often thought of as the kind of Wikipedia of maps, um, and uh, you can uh, kind of browse browse the world, browse the maps, and actually get in and click the edit button and start editing an area if you think there's something missing or uh, it's an area that you know really well and you can help make this map better. Um, so, um, and for ArcGIS users out there, like we usually do here at the university, uh, these can be pulled in as base maps. You can pull in the different, the, the various um, features as layers into into ArcGIS and use them along with your other with your other data. So, uh, you know, an incredible, incredibly uh, valuable resource. Um, and so today we want to look at just how to edit data. Um, I'm going to start by uh, looking at an area here um, in Big Bear, Big Bear Lake, an area that I know well. Uh, I've been going here since I was a kid, and um, I'm visiting my my uncle's my uncle's cabin up here. So. Um, um, I, I know this area real well, and I know, I know there's a lot of data kind of missing, a lot of features missing over here, uh, some roads, some cabins, some places that we like to go visit. So I just want to zoom in here and start editing. Um, I have an account, but if you don't have an account, uh, you can either uh, sign up here, a uh, really quick and easy process. Uh, you can also hit the Start Mapping button, and it'll take you to the, to the sign up page. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And now that I'm logged in, um, I can just start editing here. So I'm, I'm zoomed in. Uh, you can only edit when you're zoomed into a certain level. So sometimes you'll see that it says you need to zoom in to start editing. And I can see these features that are already drawn for this area. Um, but if you zoom in close, you'll see that there's these cabins in here. There's some other roads um, and, and some other stuff in here that we, we might want to we might want to map. So I'll just use that as an example. We'll just do a few here. Um, and, and I'll, I'll go in and update all these later myself. Um, so first of all, we can click on any existing feature. In fact, as I hover over them, you're gonna see them. But um, so, you know, I clicked on this road here. This is a service road. You can see there's all these, uh, there's these different feature types. If I click this road over here, this is a primary road called Big Bear Boulevard. It's got the speed limit. And all of these things were um, contributed by, by users out there. Um, and you, you know you can really get into some some detailed information here. Um, now Keystone Road is um, a, a small uh, access road to get into these cabins down here, um, and um, and it is a private road, right? And just so down here. Um, so first of all, let me just start editing some things here. I was adding some features here. Um, so we've got points, lines, and areas that we can add. Um, I'm going to start by just adding a cabin. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, zoom into this one just because it's really clear and easy to see. And because this is an area that I'm going to draw, a polygon, I want to make sure that this area tool is selected here. And I will just draw the outline of this cabin here and double click to close it. Uh, you can see uh, over here now we're going to select the feature type and because I've done cabins before um, because I was playing around before making the video um, you can see that cabin is listed up here but if it wasn't I can just search for cabin and it comes up there um, you can click this little eye here to give you information just to make sure this is the right type you can click this link and there's detailed information about uh, what a cabin is in the OpenStreetMap world um, so I'm going to click it. that's a cabin um, if you have a name or levels and all this information, the, the address, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, you can see that there's, some, there's tags that are automatically placed on this for us um, by just picking the cabin type. Um, so we've, we've done that cabin. Um, I'll go ahead and do uh, one more that we can see here um, uh, pretty easily. Let's see, which one can we see? Maybe, maybe this guy right here this has, goes out here. Okay. Double click to close. I'm going to say that's a cabin. Another trick you can do here is if I right click on it, we have some 
some different options here. We can circularize it, we can move it, we can square it off. That's what I want to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and square that off. You can also hit Q as the shortcut for that. All right, so those look good. Uh, let's go ahead and add a line here. So there's some, this is a road that kind of continues on. You know what, I'm going to move over here. This this road that goes along here through the, kind of weaves through the cabins in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. You can see that I can connect that road to the service road, which is what I want to do. And I'm just clicking the different vertices as I go through here. Okay. And it kind of weaves through here. I'm going to stop right here. Um, and this is a, I'm going to call this a service road. Um, here's, we have a group of minor roads here. Let's look at what our options are here. There's a minor road, a residential road, a living street, a service road, a track land access road. Um, I'm going to call this a service road um, just to kind of match it with this other one. Okay. Uh, the name of this is Keystone road just like this one here okay. and it is um, a private road so change that to private and um, the surface is actually uh, dirt great so you have a we made a polygon or an area. We made a line. Uh, let's go ahead and just add a point here. Uh, I'm just going to add a, this is, we, we call this uh, ski beach right here. So I'm going to just go ahead and add that. Um, and I think there's a bay type. Yeah, I'll use that feature type of bay. I could call that ski beach. All right. Now up here on the right, um, First of all, I should show you that you, know, you can always delete these or edit the ones that we've drawn. If you just click it, you can go in here and edit it. You can click and edit on any feature in here. Um, um, and if you need to, you can just hit the delete key and you can delete that feature too. All right. Um, so now that we're, we're done with those features, uh, we can go ahead and save that. Okay, uh, we can put a little comment here. Um, this is a brief description of your contributions. And I'm just going to say um, some features along the, this is called the Big Bear Southwest Colony. Um, uh, we can say whether we want somebody to review those edits and uh, we can see the changes that are listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit upload. And it's uploading those to OpenStreetMap. All right. And um, and I'm just going to say that we're, we're done here. Um, so if I go back to OpenStreetMap here, right, those haven't been integrated yet. They need to be processed. But it uh, won't take long until those new features that we Drew uh, came up on our map. So I uh, hope that was helpful. Um, you know, um, I encourage you to go find an area that you know well. Um, uh, maybe your your high school, uh, your um, your church, or some place, some community that you hang out at a lot that you know really well, and go in and update the map so that you have a nice um, a nice uh, clean map of of that area. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, and I'll see you next time.